Long before talks of the A's moving to Vegas began, the Giants were in the same position back in the 90s. They were about to move to Tampa Bay until a local ownership group stepped in to save them in the last minute. We're hoping that they can understand what we're going through. We're like in the bottom of the ninth and we're about to lose the A's. That's why Jorge Leon of the Oakland 68s says they're hoping to unite the Bay by getting Giants fans on board with their push to sell the team. We're asking the whole Bay Area to unite for this one cause and and keep days in Oakland. More than 27,000 A's fans showed up and packed the Coliseum in green cell shirts at the first reverse boycott back in June. Hoping to piggyback off of that same momentum, the Oakland 68s have partnered with the group The Last Dive Bar. They'll be handing out 8,500 Unite the Bay posters to fans as they walk in the door to Tuesday night's Bay Bridge series at Oracle Park. In our version, we have the Giants player standing over Oracle and the A's player standing over the Coliseum and they're they're shaking hands in unity. Paul Bailey with the last dive bar says each poster has its own cheer card on the back with detailed instructions on how to join their protest. In the fifth inning to stand up, be silent for the first at bat, and then after the 55 seconds to represent uh, you know all the years in Oakland, start chanting sell the team and we're going to blow the place up. The Oakland 68s also have plans to hand out around a thousand cell shirts to both A's and Giants fans, except this time they'll be black and white. We're not in our home, so we're doing a neutral color like where, you know, the Giants can wear this. Giants fans can wear this if they choose to. And although the Nevada Senate already passed a $380 million bill last month to help fund a new stadium for the A's in Las Vegas, these fans are still hoping for change in the 11th hour in hopes of keeping baseball on both sides of the bay. It's turned into um, an all out, you know, Hail Mary type of situation. In Oakland, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.